Do you think that we would be able to break into your schools if we tried to this school year? Improving security. One year ago, our Target 8 investigators teamed up with Rockford Public School Superintendent to show how relatively easy it was to get past security. Now tonight, as school leaders prepare for yet a new year, they're bringing in a private security firm to get them ready. 24 News 8, Dana Carlson has this story new at 6. Yep, we're following up, staying on top of this major issue a lot of parents concerned about. Now, one of the things that has happened since our first story aired is voters of Rockford passed a school security and technology millage, which led to upgrades. But we asked, are they enough? Last year, our undercover testers walked around several Rockford schools undetected for minutes. This year, Superintendent Dr. Mike Scheibler says things are different. Do you think that we would be able to break into your schools if we tried to this school year? I think I would challenge you to try that. <laughs> <laughs> but if uh, I don't know how you would. The confidence comes from security upgrades and training. Brand new vestibules at the front of each school, meaning visitors have to be buzzed in and go through the front office. How much added security is an extra locked door really able to provide? It provides a significant amount of security because it allows you to make an assessment before you let somebody, I describe it as a dirty area to a clean area. We don't know the people when they come in, but we make some judgments and we make some assessments before we allow them into the clean area that has the students in it. Cameras that record who wants to get in, shatter resistant film on windows, and training sessions like today's. The people in the office are the ones, they're the gatekeepers. They're the ones who say yes or no. Led by former Secret Service agent turned school security consultant Jason Russell. He told staff to watch for body language and not be afraid to question who's trying to get in and why. It honestly seems like one of the biggest obstacles you guys are going to have to overcome is that instinct to be polite in a school. And we're going to be polite, but at the same time, our number one priority will be the safety of students and staff. And so therefore, people are, I'm just going to ask for the general public, particularly parents and others, to have patience. And of course, what all parents want to know, do the new security upgrades mean the schools are completely safe? When I asked the consultant that, he said that there is never any way to make sure that any place is 100% safe, but what you're always trying to do is mitigate, mitigate danger mm -hmm. and diminish that risk. So it seems like, too, that this is the first time that they've actually taken this extra step to bring in a private security firm. And they've always done training about uh, code red and lockdown drills and things like that. But this step is new. It was kind of described as something just a little bit more, especially since they do have those physical security upgrades. They want to make sure everybody's on the same page. Right. Okay. And it was concerning mm -hmm. the last time. Right. Danny, thank you.